Jupiter is a massive planet that is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Its namesake is the king of the gods in Roman mythology. Jupiter is similar in composition to a star, but never got quite big enough to start burning. The beautiful stripes and swirls are cold, windy clouds of ammonia and water. Jupiter's iconic Great Red Spot is a giant storm that has been raging for hundreds of years. In this video, we will learn about this fascinating planet, talk about some of its many moons, and understand what makes Jupiter the king of the solar system. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun, and it is the first of the four outer planets, or Jovian planets. Jupiter orbits the Sun at an average distance of 778 million kilometers. This is about five times the distance that Earth orbits the Sun. Due to this vast distance, it would take sunlight about 43 minutes to reach Jupiter from the Sun. Keep in mind that sunlight travels at about 300 million meters per second. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It has a mass of 4.2 octillion pounds. To put that number in perspective, 4.2 octillion seconds is about 30 billion times larger than the current estimated age of the universe. Jupiter is so massive that it has more than twice the mass of all the planets in the solar system combined. It is about a thousand times less massive than the Sun. If Jupiter was about 70 times more massive than it is now, it would be able to fuse hydrogen and start burning like a star. Jupiter has a radius of nearly 70,000 kilometers. You could lay about 11 Earths across its diameter, almost like some sort of a planetary-sized headband. If Jupiter were hollow, you would be able to fit more than 1,300 Earths inside of it. To help you picture this, if the Earth were the size of a grape, Jupiter would be about the size of a basketball. Of all the planets in the solar system, Jupiter has the shortest day. One day on this Jovian world would only take about 10 hours. A day on Jupiter is about 2.5 times shorter than a day on Earth. Due to its large size and short day, Jupiter is spinning on its axis quite rapidly. To find this value, we take the circumference of the planet and divide by its period. Circumference is equal to 2 pi times the radius, and the period is the length of a day on Jupiter. Substituting in some numbers and doing a little bit of math gives a value of approximately 43,926 kilometers per hour. By comparison, the Earth spins on its axis at a rate of about 1,670 kilometers per hour. If the Earth were to spin as rapidly as Jupiter, the centrifugal force would overcome the force of gravity that keeps us on the Earth. This would effectively fling us off the planet like a horribly functioning merry-go-round. Jupiter has a surface gravity of 24.8 meters per second squared. This is about two and a half times the surface gravity of the Earth. That means if you weighed 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh about 250 pounds on Jupiter, which doesn't make it an ideal location to open up a weight loss clinic. But is it even possible for you to weigh yourself on Jupiter? Unlike the Earth, which is a solid rocky planet, Jupiter is a giant ball of gas. It is mostly made of hydrogen and helium, which means it doesn't have a true surface. The temperature in the clouds of Jupiter is about negative 145 degrees Celsius. As you move through the atmosphere and towards the surface, both the temperature and pressure increase. Here, hydrogen gas is converted into a liquid, which gives Jupiter an ocean made of hydrogen rather than water. It would be the largest ocean in the solar system. It is unclear if Jupiter has a solid core. This is one of the questions that NASA's Juno mission is attempting to answer. A defining feature of Jupiter is its Great Red Spot. The Great Red Spot is an anticyclonic storm that is about twice the size of the Earth. It is the largest storm in the solar system. 
The great red spot has been observed for more than 300 years. The cause of it is unknown. The reason it has existed for so long is because there is no solid surface on Jupiter to slow it down. As a result, storms can last for a very long time on this planet. As of the time of making this video, Jupiter has 79 confirmed moons. 53 of them have names, and the remaining 26 are waiting to receive official names. The four most popular are the Galilean moons, which are named Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. They are the four largest moons of Jupiter, as well as some of the largest objects in the solar system. They were first observed by Galileo Galilei in the year 1610, and are practically worlds of their own. In this video, we see footage from NASA's Juno spacecraft approaching Jupiter. This time lapse shows the four Galilean moons orbiting their planet in a cosmic dance of sorts. Io is the innermost of the Galilean moons and is only slightly larger than Earth's moon. Its colorful surface is due to various sulfurous compounds. Due to its location, Io is in a gravitational tug-of-war between the planet and the other Galilean moons. The planet is being stretched and squeezed by gravitational forces which generate a lot of heat in the interior. As a result, Io has volcanoes. It is the most volcanically active world in the solar system and has lakes of molten silicate lava on its surface. Europa is the second furthest Galilean moon from Jupiter. It has a surface covered in ice that is thought to be 15 to 25 kilometers thick. The surface is crisscrossed by fractures, cracks, and ridges. Recently, NASA scientists have detected the presence of water vapor above the surface of this icy moon. This supports the idea that there may be an ocean of liquid water beneath the surface. As one of the requirements for life on Earth is liquid water, if there is life in the solar system, it may be hiding somewhere under Europa's icy shell. Next up, we have Ganymede, which is the largest moon in the solar system. It is even larger than the planet Mercury. Ganymede has an iron core, which makes it the only moon in the solar system that has a magnetic field. Callisto is the outermost of the Galilean moons. It is composed of roughly equal parts of ice and rock, making it the least dense of the Galilean moons. The surface is pockmarked by craters, which suggest it is geologically inactive. It is one of the oldest and most heavily cratered surfaces in the solar system. In summary, Jupiter is a massive beauty. It contains more than twice the amount of material of all the other objects in the solar system combined. It has the same composition of a star, but didn't have enough mass to initiate nuclear fusion and start burning. Although Jupiter has been known to the ancients, it is still largely a mystery. NASA's Juno mission is currently studying the planet to understand its origin and evolution. Such insights could lead us to a better understanding of our solar system. Have a question? Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more.